the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the San Francisco Giants. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Singy, this might be my favorite ball. So just about set now. And on the hill in this one, Logan Webb. What do you have on him? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same-siders to be the able to get people. it in, especially yeah. early in the count. And to opposite guys, be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Jazz Chisholm oh, yeah. Jr., the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. The 0-1. And he chases a high fastball there. Oh, Foul ball still 0-2. Webb, a guy after Tommy John surgery, changed his arm slot a little bit. He ditched that four-seam fastball, went with the sinker, and he's turned into a ground ball machine. And it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone, keep that leadoff man off first base. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Riding to the plate. In the air. Out towards left center. One down. Batting third. The second baseman. Luis Arias. Luis Arias stands in. And that's in there for strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than that's it actually was. And it's one and one. <laughs> Wade hauls it in, and there's two away. No, that was a pitch out of crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right that there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself Garrett. until his next at bat. Cooper. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, do you want him to go early in the count? That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Gathers and throws to first. And that is that. One left for Miami. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Francisco. And on the mound now, Sandy Alcantara. Chris, how about a scouting report? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the Leading same off. arm Before slot, the done. same tunnel, and that the can make life baseman. very difficult Tyro. on his opponents. Tyro Estrada to the plate. And a pitch. Now, Contra, an all-star a season ago, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. The 0 1. And strike two. Oh, two 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. And he deals. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. And there's two away. Batting third. The right fielder. Mitch. Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one's gone into the bleachers. Mitch Hanniger leaves the yard. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And Jack Peterson stands in. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Only two now. In the air, right field. That one hops against the fence. But now they hold him to a single. Doesn't have plus speed, so I guess they didn't want to try and stretch it there. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pulled that one right in the direction of the shifted defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Michael Conforto will climb in. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning set to go. And at the play for Miami, Abasail Garcia. Webb back to work. Swing and a ball popped up. Webb moving under it. One away. That is it. The third baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here. Chris Logan Webb, a Northern California guy, but he grew up a fan of the Oakland A's. He grew up going to both teams' games, Giants and A's, but his dad was an Oakland fan. So he loved the Tim Hudson, Bobby Crosby, Stephen Vogt teams with the Oakland A's. There's a strike. Well, I can relate being from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco. And that can help you become an A's fan a lot faster because it gets awfully chilly in Fran. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the that ones you dream about. The ones the in the cage, time. you're just hoping you get Joey. in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Double play ball to second. The strike. Over to Crawford. Out. And that's two. 
One hit in the inning, but no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants one and the Marlins nothing. And welcome back. Leading Bottom up, half of inning number two. And digging in for San Francisco, David VR. Chance to collect himself now as he asks for time. The pitch. That's to third. It's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford. Liner snagged it first. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park. And then at, what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. To the right side. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and he's on it first. This is Joey Bart. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two outs. Right side. They take the force out, and that is that. So the Giants leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Leading off, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Webb, 6 1 righty, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014. There's a strike. De La Cruz, 26 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That misses the zone at one and one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. On the ground to the left. Here's a one-two. Oh, that's off the plate. On the ground, out to short. On the run, throw to first. Oh. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Jacob Stallings now. Stallings goes six feet five inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. One down, base is empty. And one and two. One ball, two frames. The wind of the pitch. In the air on the infield. Webb makes the grab, and that quickly two away. The center fielder, number two, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Some nuggets on Jazz Chisholm. He's from the Bahamas, and he was born in 1998, signed with the Diamondbacks in 2015, before he can make his Major League debut. Ah, well, he settles under it in left, and that will end the inning. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. They still trail one nothing.
back here at Oracle Park. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Second baseman, Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. On target, he got him. Nice play. The batter, the center fielder. Seeing an impressive jump throw from the hole at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Ripped to the right center, and that should be extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. So man aboard. Mitch Hanniger, the next giant to hit. On the ground to third. Over to Cooper, and they take care of Hanniger for the out. Now batting the designated hitter, John Peterson. Here's Jack Peterson. One for one with a single so far. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Jack Peterson bops one out. And they add a couple more. It's 3-0. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had a sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And here is Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 1. Ground ball right side. Oh, look at the stop. Fires to first. Nicely done for the... Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Back here in San Francisco, out of the fourth, and now for the Marlins, Jorge Soler. Soler. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That's in for a strike. You know, these Marlins, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits, so they might want to be a little more selective up there. Now this is in the air down the line. Conforto should have this one. Makes the catch for the out. The batter number three. Second so digging eight. in, Luis Arias. Popped Arias. out foul ground first time through. In there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Next pitch has popped up. But there's no play. That's an infield single. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Good bad ball hitting right there. Just kind of threw the barrel at the ball, trying to protect with two strikes, and sometimes it works out well for you. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Garrett Cooper. Pitches in there, 
And that is strike one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Here comes the 0 1. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Yastrzemski raging back towards the wall. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run scores all the way from first. Now just a two run deficit. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Man at second with one away. Avasail Garcia up to the plate. And Garcia gets a piece. Cooper leads off second with one gone in the inning. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it. There's two away. Now batting the third baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura, the next up for the Marlins. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a big swing and a miss. And a pop up right side foul territory. Nobody can get there and it's a foul ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Marlins get a run on the RBI double. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, David VR. The wind and the pitch. Strike one. Well, these Giants doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. He makes the grab, and there's one down. The batter, number 35. Here's Crawford now. Open Brandon. stance on that left side. Crawford. Brandon Crawford, a player who has been a stalwart at shortstop for the San Francisco Giants, helped them win World Series in 2012 and 2014. Oh, gets dirty to first. And very nicely done for the out. Now back, first baseman, Wilma, Wade Jr. Two outs, base is empty. Lamont Wade Jr., the next giant to hit. Going one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The 0 2. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Now a relay to second, but he's in there easily. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
Man at second here with two away. Joey Bart, the next job.